Today I'm going to show you how to make roses. Now roses are a nice decoration. So on this uh, shoe here, I went ahead and made it a house with a shoe. And so you see along the edges there, I've added some flowers, like there was a garden and those are the roses that I'm going to show you how to make today. I go ahead and I take some pretty wet clay. Uh, it works a little bit better if your hands are also wet, just because then it'll roll and it won't crack as much. And we are going to first turn it into a coil. So I'm just kind of rolling it in my hands, trying to get it to that coilish shape, start to roll it on the table. All right. And I do from the center to the edges, so I'm kind of pulling. You'll notice the clay is really wet but that is nice because otherwise the edges of the rose tend to crack. Okay, so I keep rolling it out. And this is going to be substantially bigger than the roses for the little house, but this will let you see what I'm doing. So once I have the coil, I'm gonna make sure it's not stuck to the table, and then I'm going to gently start pushing one edge into kind of a flat, uh, kind of petal shape, right? So and I wanna make sure it doesn't stick, so I pull up. Right, and if it cracks a little bit off, that's okay. We can go through and kind of smush it back together. You can even hold it up and smush it with your fingers. I just kind of like to press it against the table personally. But either way, we're just going through and kind of flattening one edge out. Now the other side's still gonna be thick, and that's okay. The thickness is gonna help us make it look more like a flower in a minute. Okay, so we go along, and we want a pretty big flower. We wanna have enough coil that we can really wrap it a little less uh, flared at the beginning and a little more flared towards the end. Just like a rose, it starts out tight and gets bigger and bigger. All right, and that's probably enough. And this is really simple. We just start by rolling it in on itself. Just keep rolling it in, right? I'm gonna tip it slightly so that it, it kind of goes out and not in. All right, so tipping, tipping, tipping. Right, and I just keep rolling it. Okay, if something doubles in on itself, you can kind of pull it out a little bit. Okay, and once we get it about as big as we want it, we don't have to use the whole thing, we can pull it off, and then we actually are going to pinch the bottom. That pinching the bottom actually kind of makes everything pop out a little bit, and that will make it look kind of like it's blooming. Now we can go through and kind of, you know, make the petals stand out a little bit more, but that is the basic rose shape. 